Hello, it's Tail, and I'm playing Silent Hunter 3 again. And uh, currently, we are sitting here, becalmed in the the ocean, loading in the external torpedoes. I've been sailing about for two or three days. The uh, date is now April the 21st, 1943. The weather has finally calmed down, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, loading the externals. So that will take a while. And once we've done that, we can hopefully try and find some more ships to sink. Um, I've been sailing back and forth here. I've not come across any contacts for a while. I might head back up to this area. I'm guessing they're coming along this path, but um, my search around here has been fruitless. Fruit has not been found and neither have ships. So, um, yeah, that's the update for now. So I'll come back um, with a further report shortly. Right, well, I have loaded everything in without um, incident. Whoops. Uh, the weird thing is still happening where I cannot uh, load the fourth tube. It won't let me. Um, it's not a problem with the weather because the sea, as you can see, is flat as a pancake. Um, I'll even show you. Let's see. Put some guys in there. Just won't do it. What do, normally, if you if it uh, you know, if you try and load torpedo and you're not able to, it will appear, but it'll be all grey and um, it won't actually load. But this just will not, will not move. So, not sure what the issue is there. What's the deal, man? I don't know. So we'll have to just operate with three tubes in the front, two in the rear. I have spotted or been informed, rather, that uh, there are a couple of ships in my vicinity, which I would like to investigate. Now, where's my notes for interception? I've lost them. Shit, okay, well, I think I can remember how this goes. Let me just move this way, first of all. Okay, so we take this, do that, that, and there, that's thereabouts, okay. Then we take ruler, we measure out the ship speed. It's going slow, I think, so we'll do six knots. So, there we go. Then we take the compass, make a big circle based on how fast we're going, which is about 70 knots, we'll do 16, 160, that'll do, uh, and then we take this, we do that, back to the point where the circle intersects the line from my U-boat to the target, back to the target ship, which is 15 degrees, so we therefore need to lead this ship by 15 degrees, so we do this, this, and measure out 15, puts it, whoops, 15 is here, so I wasn't far off but uh, here we go, if I head in this direction I should now intercept this ship, two contacts and they're about 40 kilometers apart which is a bit strange but um, yeah let's head over this way and see what we find, I'll come back when um, I reach the area. Okay, so it looks like my, like my calculations were slightly out because we've now got report that the ship is ahead of me, but that's fine. Maybe it's moving like seven knots instead of six or something like that. Um, but that's okay, we can catch up with it. Uh, let's see here, well, that's going to be quite close. Weather is uh, not great for U boat operations. Let me see here. Um, so measure up 15 kilometers, and then if I kind of do that, hopefully I won't get too close. What's the weather report? Excellent visibility, 15 kilometers. Good. So I should be able to spot it visually by staying within this circle. 
so to speak, as we move parallel to it. Schiff gesichtet. And there we go, ship spotted. Bearing 4-0. Oh yes, there's two of them. And they look quite nice and juicy. No escorts that I can see. Let's phone it in. Uh, where are we? Uh, send contact report. Not that it'll do anything worthwhile, but why not? So all we need to do is follow these guys. The problem is that uh, it's half past twelve. So... Ideally we need to wait for... I guess it doesn't really matter that much if there's no escort. Because if we're spotted, when we try and attack, then it just means that they'll zigzag. We won't actually come under attack, as long as we're under the water. So, let's see here... Let's mark them on the map. And also do the uh, rough idea of the course so we know where we're going. And I will do this, try and get ahead of them. And hopefully they won't spot me. The visibility is very good, but I am a small ship, so my silhouette on the horizon is not going to be massive like theirs. I can only go up to 128 time compression because we're near th these guys. I've done something weird to my Silent Hunter 3 Commander. I've switched recently switched to um, a solid state hard drive up from my system drive and copying everything over it seems that some of the settings haven't been remembered or something like that. Um, but never mind. I think you should be able to change it so it goes higher when you're in contact with an enemy ship. This should be good enough. Schiff gesichtet. There's the ship. Let's go a bit closer to them and dive. And this should be a good position to fire from. There's uh, them on the hydrophone chart. Let's get a little bit closer, may as well. I'm going to be firing my Type 3s, is it? Well, my Type... well... I've only got one Type 3, unfortunately. Maybe I can swap these around. Can I... Let's see here, hold on. Don't want to be using tight ones in broad daylight. Um Oops. Not you. Can I do a switcheroo? I'm loading. Eight minutes, okay. I should have eight minutes. They're not exactly where I put them though, so I might need to do a little bit of backing up. Whoops. Shit. Uh, it's because I've still got a course thingy going on. It uh, wants to try and turn while it backs up. Let me get rid of this. And back up again. Don't know if I've somehow damaged um that torpedo tube. Which is why I can't load anything into it. See, it's loading that one. Will not load this one. Oh well. Let's have a look. See what we can see. Oh, they're quite close. They're pretty damn close. But we are in a good position here. 
Maybe we're a bit too close. Let's back up a little bit more. Also need to turn a little bit like that, so on more of a 90 degree angle. Like so. Good. Okay. Good, 20 seconds. We, we're okay. Let's do the fiddly bit. What do we have here? I need to do this quickly. Uh, thank you. I hope I haven't passed it already. Large merchant. Nice. Boopy de boop. And what are you, my friend? Did I see you right at the start of the merchant book? I think maybe I did. <gasps> really? That is what that is, isn't it? Holy shit. Okay, we have a ceramic type ocean liner, 12,300 tons, staring us in the face. Let's lower this scope a little bit because we're a bit exposed. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's do this. Uh, get the rain. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are the wrong notes. I've got the wrong notes. I'm not prepared. Here we go. Good. Uh, range. Count the number of vertical marks. We're using this here, so that will be about eight marks. So we take eight. Put this on the top line. Check the mast height. 36.8. 32, 34, 36. About there-ish. Um, if is this right? Hold on. Mast height, outer dial, range on inner dial. Is this the? Oh god. It doesn't matter that much. Um. I think we're about 1,500 metres away. I hope they haven't spotted us and started wiggling. Oh god, they have. They're zigzagging. Crap! See, this is why you really need to wait for Nightfall to be doing this. They know I'm here. They've spotted me. They've spotted this little thing. Guess it is pretty easy to spot. Though you need a nice, good pair of binoculars. Well, then I wonder what to do, whether to just give up and try again later or try and take on a shot. But it's going to be pretty tricky with them ziggy zagging around. Though all we need to do really is lower the speed estimate. It's pretty much on a 90 degree angle to me right now. Oh, um, and it's really close. Let's do it. Doesn't matter about the tight ones because they've already been spotted, or we've already been spotted. So, magnetic. Just is 9.6, so we put this at 10. 10. 10. Open tube 1. I'll change the speed around a little bit just to try my luck. This is a big target as well, so it's going to be even more difficult to miss. Whoa! Hi! Yep, they're shooting at me. Okay, let's do this. Let's lower the speed a bit. 
for this one. And then for the third one, we'll raise it a little bit. There. Oh boy, here we go. 